Mom, you still clip coupons. Well, it all adds up. That's sweet, Mom. In honor of your thriftiness, I'll serve two croissant sandwiches for just three bucks, made with fresh egg, sausage, or our new hickory smoked bacon and melting cheese. You're such a good son. I'm so glad you dropped by. I love coming home, Mom. Patty, call the doctor. It's been more than four hours. Hi, Jack. I gotta go. Welcome! Happy Easter everybody and it's a really happy Easter for me today because I've had a delivery of a pop I've wanted for, well, ever since it came out and the price just shot up seemingly instantly. Couldn't find anywhere within the UK to order it when it came out in 2020 and um, I've got it today courtesy of seven bucks a pop. Really excited to get this as this is in one of my favorite lines and I've just not seen this anywhere really for like almost two years. Let's get it open. So the price, I'm actually quite pleased with the price because yes, it's not cheap. I think the total, including international postage, was $81 and I've forgotten what that converted to, but it was 60 something pounds, I think. But that seems to be under its current Funko app or PPG valuation. Not that I really care. I just wanted this pop and I didn't think that I would get it. I think you know who it's going to be based on the intro and the thumbnail. But even so, uh, from 7 Bucks Pop, we have got their double bubble bubble gum. It's not theirs. They don't manufacture it, but they always put it in the boxes. Actually, not always, because um, if you saw my last seven books of pop unboxing, uh, they forgot to put this in. And I thought it was some sort of conspiracy because I'd criticised it. It's come double boxed, as things tend to do at 7BAP or 7BAP. I'm so happy to have finally got this. Oh! <laughs> And we've got even more, so uh, they've seemingly made up for the lack of bubble gum last time by giving me two extra pieces. So that's four pieces of gum. Oh, wonderful. My daughter will probably like it. Anyway, it's looking at a section on the 7 Books of Pop website. It usually had the same sort of stuff that I've mostly already got. And then this suddenly came up. I think it was part of one of their thrice weekly pop drops, as they call them. And I thought, right, I've got to order this now, because if someone else sees it soon, then uh, they're going to snap it up at this price. Just had a flyer fall down at my feet, but that doesn't matter. It's come in one of seven books of Pops, Pop Shields. I will get it out of there, because you're not going to be able to see it very clearly. It's one of these I need to take all the cellophane off later, which I will do. Oh, I'm delighted. I am delighted with this. I've got in the pop ad icons line number 100 it's jack box from jack in the box this is a 2020 summer convention exclusive this i don't know if it ever came out properly over here in the uk i remember seeing it kind of as part of all the 2020 summer convention announcements i don't think you could ever really get it easily over here not from i mean places like funko europe didn't exist back then and um, maybe some of the other sites a lot of which don't actually exist anymore two years on maybe they had it briefly but um, i missed the boat on it at least once or twice but uh, to finally get it and i never expected that i would looks to be mint condition as well i don't think this had a grading which means they count it as 10 out of 10 mint jack in the box it's like a fast food restaurant chain in the us if you have a look at the back we can see a picture of uh, is that one or i think that might be two tacos i don't think they specialize in tacos i think they do like kind of everything burgers breakfast sandwiches all sorts really 
but uh, for some reason it's the taco i think the taco unless the burgers stood i can't see <laughs> it doesn't matter but jack box himself is a clown as you can see he's one of those kind of slightly creepy clowns that spring up from a jack-in-the-box i used to have a jack-in-the-box toy a Fisher Price one when I was a child, I loved it. The Fisher Price toys, when you were a kid of the 70s and 80s, they were the best. Their little record player with the plastic discs that played nursery rhymes, they were great. I had like a normal one and then I also had like a carousel design type one. And uh, I also had a Fisher Price Jack in the Box that I just found really charming. Not scary at all. But let's get Jackbox out for a better look. A little bit undervalued, really, at seven bucks a pop. So I can't fault them. And again, as with every order that I've made at seven bucks a pop, and there's still a lot of people who come into my comments saying, oh, I've not used them yet. And I know they're Funko collectors. And I think, well, why don't you just have a look? If you find something quite cheap, you know, it doesn't have to be something expensive like this. If you find something quite cheap, and then you're paying, what, another 14 to $16 in postage. You work it out, you're gonna get it probably around the same price as if it was available within the UK. And uh, they've got a lot more choice. Anyway, here he is, he's got a big bulbous white head. Got a little hat on there at a jaunty angle. I don't know what his nose is supposed to be. Like, it's sort of cone-shaped. He's got big blue eyes and a big painted-on smile. Then, I suppose the joke is he kind of dresses like a normal person from his neck down. I think he's kind of pulling open a jacket or a cardigan or something to reveal a Jack in the Box logo shirt. He's got something in his right hand. Not sure what it'll be no idea i can't see gray trousers with a belt black shoes i do seem to get quite a lot of clowns in my pop collection particularly ad icons because i've got ronald mcdonald uh, the fanta clown i oh, know i'm forgetting at least one or two others yeah i'm absolutely made up to the moon and back with jackbox here to finally have it here today almost two years later just goes to show patience and perseverance pays off so he's back in his box. Excellent stuff. Love Jackbox from the Jack in a Box restaurant chain. And I want to say thank you to all of you for watching this Easter Sunday video. With special thanks, as always, to my wonderful subscribers and generous patrons. I've got lots of Funko affiliate links where you can get discounts on Funko products and Funko protectors all down in the description text box. And also, don't forget, there's my Patreon link as well. If you click on that and donate from $1 a month, it really helps me keep this channel going and growing. And there's my Facebook group link as well, which is obviously always free to join and join in the conversation once you're there. And there's other stuff like contents insurance and stuff as well in the description text box. Let's shill everything on Easter Sunday. It's what Jesus Christ would have wanted. I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna put Jackbox back in his pop shield here. Once I've taken the, all the cellophane off it, always a bit of an annoying job. Then I'm gonna have to make room for him in my very crowded but wonderful ad icons display. I love the ad icons, you know that I do. I hope you've enjoyed seeing this rather rare piece here today, and I'm certainly enjoying being able to add it to the collection today. And I do hope that all of you will join Jackbox and myself next time for my next Funko Pop unboxing. Cheers, everyone. Boo! See ya! Did that work? Takeover episode. Great episode from an episode. 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 In my fingers. Blowing out in the wind. Episode. Episode. This episode. Episode. And we have to say episode quite a few times in this. Episode. On top of episode. Um, with an episode in the middle. This episode is now coming to an episodic end. Episode. 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 Bye. Bye. Bye.